Can cancer metastasis be prevented? Did you know that 90% of cancer deaths are due to metastasis, a process in which cells spread from a primary tumor to secondary sites throughout the body? Hundreds of thousands of dedicated researchers study cancer, and their annual worldwide research budgets are in the billions of dollars. Although much good has come from this effort, we still cannot explain certain basic things about the process of metastasis. This is a problem because cancer continues to be a leading cause of suffering and death. For example, in 2018, cancer claimed 9.6 million lives. Could current research strategies be missing something? We think they are, and to help explain why, we built a simple model. Imagine that these water bottles represent the cells in the healthy tissue. External influences and other factors can sometimes cause the genes and molecular control systems in one of these cells to go awry. This food coloring symbolically represents these influences and the internal changes they produce, and it makes it easy to identify the affected cell. Much is now known about how these changes can affect cell behavior including why, under certain circumstances, they give rise to abnormal cell division and growth. To portray these new daughter cells, we add more colored water bottles, thereby simulating the tumor they produce. We use the term benign to describe a tumor that grows without invading the surrounding tissue. But we call it cancer if its cells are of such a nature that they have the potential to invade surrounding tissue or spread elsewhere in the body. The events we have described so far would then correspond to cancer stages 0 through 3. Stage 4 denotes that some of the cancer cells have left the primary tumor, moved to other locations in the body, and instigated secondary tumors, a process called metastasis. Stage 4 is the most dangerous and deadly form of the disease. Most current research on metastasis relies on molecular tools like those through which we have learned so much about the earlier stages of cancer. Stage 4, however, is fundamentally different from the others. Its defining feature is the large-scale movement of cells, and to understand that, one must use mechanics. As the model clearly demonstrates, it does not matter what happens to the chemistry inside those cancer cells or inside these water bottles. Those changes by themselves will never cause the cells or the water bottles to move. To produce cell movement, those molecular changes must affect specific mechanical structures in the cells and the forces that they ultimately generate. To be specific, they must build structures with the ability to push or pull against their neighbors or against other nearby structures. The different ways in which cells can generate these motile forces is quite interesting, and you might enjoy reading our freely available scientific article on the mechanics of metastasis. Again, one could imagine fancy chemical factories constructing all kinds of complex proteins and clever structures inside these cells, or water bottles. But unless those structures apply just the right kinds of mechanical forces to their neighbors, no movement will occur. Until we can categorize and quantify these mechanical forces, verify the conditions under which they produce metastatic movements, and determine the factors that govern them, we will not really understand cancer metastasis. For decades, labs that study embryo development have been making important discoveries about how genetic factors affect cell mechanics and give rise to particular clinical outcomes. There is no technical reason that parallel studies of metastatic cells cannot provide the same kinds of critical information. Indeed, only when studies of this kind are carried out can we hope to devise clinical strategies to prevent the movement and attendant lethal effects of cancer cells. Achieving this aim, however, will require a new breed of cancer researcher and a new mindset at cancer funding agencies. 
Thankfully, some cancer agencies are starting to give priority to the mechanics of cells, a factor that historically has not received adequate attention. We believe that only when mechanics is properly taken into account can cancer metastasis finally be prevented. Thanks for watching.